So that was in 2004, we bought the mill in Dover Foxcroft. Um, from 2004 to 2010, we worked with, my brother and I worked with our uncles and our father to update the mill, you know, did a lot of modernizations. Uh, Chris and I learned the business. Um, starting in 2010, we started expanding. We bought some mills that had, uh, for a variety of reasons, were either shut down or about to be shut down. We bought a couple of white pine mills. And then in, in 2015, we added Moose River Lumber. Um, that uh, brought us from a single mill in 2004, doing about 75 million feet a year, to now we have four mills operating, doing about 230 million feet a year. With current expansions in place, we're building a fifth mill. Um, so our total capacity at that point, uh, by the end of this summer, our total capacity will be around 350 million feet a year. Uh, so we, we employ 300 people in Maine and our, we have six locations, uh, four sawmills operating, one being built, and then a trucking company. And one of the benefits of Maine is that we predominantly have naturally growing forests. We don't have very many plant plantations, a little bit in northern Maine, but, but that's about it. All of our raw material, or the vast majority of it, comes from naturally growing forests. And what that produces is very high quality fiber. Three years ago, we started in a big investment uh, project to all of our mills, to our spruce mills, rather. Um, we, we made the commitment to spend about $25 million uh, between projects in two locations, as well, as well as building a new mill in West Enfield, a new sawmill. So, uh, and we committed to buying two ValueTech continuous kilns um, so we're, we're in the process of starting up our second kiln in Dover. Our first kiln started up last October here in Jackman. Okay. Yeah, we were looking, we knew we needed to put in new kilns because we, we want to grow our production uh, from 200 million board feet to 300 million board feet at the end of all these projects. Um, and we knew we needed kilns to be able to, to do that. So we got looking into continuous kilns, the uh, open door, uh, continuous kilns that other other manufacturers make and by doing that we looked in that we were just uh, we were pawing through a trade magazine and value Tech's ad popped up we we looked at the kilns and they they advertised them as continuous kilns but they had doors on them which we liked because we were always skeptical on these open door continuous kilns in cold weather climate uh, because you know the doors are open we've got air blowing through them the heat's coming out uh, because of energy efficiency uh, uh, the quality of the construction and the amount that they still dried the same amount of production that these continuous kilns did but with far less energy requirements because the doors shut they, they have doors well they made well the other thing too is value tech after looking into them value techs made over 4,000 of these kilns so we knew we were dealing with the real deal it wasn't just uh, a company with new technology this was old technology that just hasn't come to the US yet or North America so that intrigued us too, because we do like to take chances on, on new things, but it really there was no chance there because when you've built 4,000 of them in Europe and in Siberia and Russia, uh, it's, it's not a chance, right? So we scheduled a trip to Sweden in June of 2018. We toured, uh, we toured a couple of Valuetech kilns. Uh, we saw new kilns that were constructed six or seven years ago that still looked brand new. We saw value tech kilns that were constructed 40 years ago that looked better than our 10 year old kilns here. Um, so after seeing that and, and seeing and talking with the local mills and, and the personnel, we were sold on value tech. We left that trip uh, with, a, with a signed $10 bill as our deposit on two kilns for, for Jackman and Dover. Yeah. Uh, first thing I'd like to say about this Value Tech kiln is it has really performed the way they had, had told us it would. Uh, large amounts of wood dried evenly and a much better uh, percentage of ones and twos than we had been getting, higher grade lumber. Um, very good support from Sweden, call any time of the night or day. Um, other than that, the, uh, the kiln is very easy to run, very user friendly. It does a great job in a lot less time than we're used to and puts out a much better product. 
the whole process of installing two Valutec TC kilns at Pleasant River Lumber, one in Jackman, Moose River Sawmill, and one in Dover Foxcroft, uh, was just nothing but spectacular. We uh, couldn't have wished for a better partner with Pleasant River Lumber. Um, everyone is super nice, super friendly, and they were just a great team to work with and a super good partner.